Hi everybody, this is Gijs again and I hope you are doing well. This time it is the seventh episode of the campfire sessions and I started the campfire sessions because I was doing a small a lot of small videos on the Scandinavian Outdoor Awards and the products that I test on their behalf and if you want to know more about the Scandinavian Outdoor Awards and the products that I did in the previous episodes then follow the link up here and you will know it all now in this edition um, it is a other echo product it is the echo exo rep sandal and I don't know about you, but I am quite a sandal lover. About a seven, eight years ago, I went to Israel for a magazine here in the Netherlands to do a test on sandals in general. Uh, and we hiked about, I think, on eight different pairs uh, in the desert and also in the mountains of Israel. And what I like about sandals is that they are generally very, very airy and they have a very good fit. Not the cheaper ones, of course, but the more expensive ones, which are really thought through. Now with Echo, um, that is of course the case. Most of the time they are very well built and thought through sandals. But in this case with the Exo Rep, it is a little bit different. And now I have to explain that this is a pre-production sample and Echo thought that they sent us the pre-production sample that was used for testing but they didn't they sent me the model that is used for the photography and on this one this particular model well I discovered that quite a lot of things were not really like I expected from Echo and then I called them and I explained this and yes they acknowledged this is not the right sandal sandal that or sandal sample that I should have had now what I did notice is that the um, footbed itself and the sandal, the whole construction in general, it is really, really nice. The sandal has got the foreign footbed and foreign, it's basically a construction in the middle of the sandal to provide a lot of support and stability. Now, if you look at the sandal um, on it from this way and you bend it, or when I bend it, you can see that the flex point is really nice in the middle of the forefoot and that's actually precise where it should be. And also you can see that the back, well, it is really, really stiff. So the whole footbed in general, it really hikes fine. And I've been trying this here in the Netherlands uh, on several hikes by now. Um, and the footbed, it is a fantastic one. Um, also, you might see the shape, it's very ergonomical shaped. Um, and also, uh, there is a lot of protection going on around. This one, it is a size 41. It weighs 470 grams. Um, one of my colleagues is testing the female version, which is actually a white one, which is not that clever in the outdoors. Uh, but um, that one weighs about 306 grams. I don't know what size she has actually. I think it should be a 37 probably. Um, so the weight already means that this is quite a sturdy sandal. Now there are a few things that I discovered that I don't like and why I discovered that this is basically not the right model for testing. And the first problem was that the uh, buckles, um, there is very little space to adjust the buckles itself. And also the buckles, they are like sort of cheapest they don't have got these teeth on them that grip into the material um, so they loosen themselves the other problem is um, this buckle is fine but on the heel part this part is flexible and that's something that well it might be done for comfort but what happens is when i tie this one down um, my foot basically gets pushed backwards and when this is elastic I go backwards and you can see that um, when walking my foot is already on the edge on the back of the um, sandal itself which is of course not how it should be in my opinion what I also did notice is that this 41 um, I am a 41 and a half which is something like 26.3 centimeters to be correct um, this one is almost one and a half centimeters bigger um, which means that my toes are very well protected which i do absolutely like but well it's not the right fit what uh, how it should be on the positive side um, the sandal is made out of a combination of materials of course there's a, a synthetic material in the uh, wrapping around here um, the straps uh, and of course Echo uses their Echo leather, which is dry tan leather and dry tan leather. It's been awarded a Scandinavian Outdoor Award in the past because it is a very um, nice way of tanning leather because they use very, very little water. And 
reducing water in the tannery is one of the main um, topics in, in the whole shoe business. Um, I've been hiking with this one in water as well. And yes, it is fine. It even dries quite quickly. What I did not like, and that might be also because of the shape and maybe the fit on my foot, is that, well, there is quite, um, this part is quite close to where my ankle bone is. Uh, and after about an hour of hiking, um, both my ankles, they got Ow. a small puncture in the skin. Um, so I did not continue after that because I do more testing on shoes and I want to have my foot 100 feet 100% um, okay. Now this is what I wanted to share with you on the um, Echo ExoRap sandal, which I think could be a perfect sandal for hiking, but not this one since this is the photography um, copy problem basically. Now, um, if this is the first time that you see one of my videos then uh, you might not know that I am a 100% independent reviewer. I'm not being paid by manufacturers to make my reviews and I don't have any affiliate deals neither do I have advertisements on my website. If you like my way of independent reviewing and normally I do way bigger reviews longer in-depth detailed reviews I'll put the link up there as well so you can check that um, and if you like what I do then please subscribe to my YouTube channel follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page and don't forget to hit the alarm bell when you subscribe so you know when I uploaded a new video because there is still one more video to come in the Scandinavian Outer Awards um, jury session product testing thingy and that is about a face mask and in corona times this is going to be very 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 important i hope you like the video thanks for watching enjoy the outdoors and stay safe ciao ciao and now i'm going to clean the sandals because there is a lot of dirt on them and a little bit of blood which i will not deliver back to echo in this way so i'm going to put them in the sink give them a good rub down and let them dry tomorrow